Hey everybody, what's going on? Baru here, and today I've got some more Borderlands, the pre-sequel news for you guys. Now, I've been getting a lot of messages from my followers on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook about going over um, this screenshot that you see here, as well as a couple others uh, that we've pulled from the E3 gameplay. So, starting off with the first one, um, we can see that we're going to have a new Legendary, and a lot of people are saying, Baru, the bitch is coming back. We now have the bitch SMG, and I wanted to... I wanted to talk to you guys about that. I don't think that this is actually going to be the bitch. I think that it's just using a alpha skin and an alpha um, sort of texture and maybe model and everything like that. I really don't think that they're going to be doing a carbon copy of the bitch and just making it an ice element because for those who remember, the, the bitch already came in all elements and looking at the builds that they have so far, um, any all any uh, any gun that came in all elements will have the ice element as well. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to end up being a new gun entirely once we get to the launch. And the reason I say that is because if we look at this next screenshot right here, we have this Hyperion shotgun. And uh, there's a couple things that you might want to notice about this. Notice the skin that that is using. This is a completely brand new skin. Uh, that we have not seen. That's why I think there's going to just be a lot of alpha skins on a couple of the items. Uh, for example, when during the uh, during the moon base trailer, we had the the Gub skin on a bandit pistol. I really don't think that we're going to be getting a lot of carbon copy legendaries. I mean, yeah, we're probably going to have a few returning. The bitch might make a return, but I don't think we're going to have just carbon copy guns. And this this Hyperion shotgun is proof of that. Now here's something really interesting about this shotgun. The prefix on the shotgun doesn't actually exist in Borderlands 2. So what this means is we're going to be getting new prefixes for uh, the pre-sequel, which is really nice. We're going to be expanding on that, uh, on that loot pool, on those uh, accessory pools and everything. So I can expect a little bit more variety uh, in, in, in the pre-sequel. One other thing to also note is that how powerful this shotgun is at level 24. I was messing around in uh, I was messing around in Gibbed in Borderlands 2. The highest I could get a Hyperion single barrel shotgun is around 180, uh, about 185 damage or so. So we're going to be seeing some loot that is extremely powerful um, compared to its purple variants so maybe you're going to be able to reskin or pop or amp up some of your previous shotguns i think that's what uh there's been a rumor going around that this is what the uh what the moonstone fragments are going to be used for and you're going to be able to power up your guns which i would love to see happen i don't think it actually is but if that ends up being the case this is going to be amazing being able to take your favorite items make them even more powerful but again that is all speculation so let's move on to something that isn't speculation which is uh this new laser gun and if you'll notice on the on the gun before we even go over the extra damage notice how it says if you deal damage with this gun you will gain oxygen now a lot of people have been asking baru is there anything you can tell us about oxygen is are we going to be scrambling around to get it and from what we can see here that answer is going to be a no some of these weapons are going to have stats on them that's going to allow you to absorb oxygen just from simply fighting so you won't have to worry uh, too much about trying to find these oxygen uh, oxygen Jones or anything like that. So I really don't think oxygen is going to be that big of an issue in the pre-sequel. I think you're going to be able to just mob around with these things, not have too much uh, problem. But uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely adding a lot, a lot more passive skills to items that aren't just um, that aren't just unique. So we, we're going to have some good passives for non-unique weapons, which is going to be really nice. And I'm sure you already are aware of Cathalian's video where he showed that a legendary had um, increased chance to drop rare loot, which I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out. I don't know if that's going to be like the Vault Hunter Relic or if it's actually going to increase all rare loot, but uh, we'll be sure to take a look at that when we get more details on that. So last bit I wanted to talk about about this particular laser gun is notice the extra damage while holding down the trigger. So this is probably going to be Malawan's gimmick for the laser guns is that it's going to be it's probably going to be the highest damaging laser gun. If I had to guess it's going to be the highest damaging laser gun because 
Uh, the more, the, the longer you hold down the trigger, it looks like it's going to go up to a, a staggering 200% extra damage. Whereas if we look at this Hyperion laser gun, uh, you can see that it's only increased critical. So uh, it, everything's going to have its own gimmick. So we've kind of found out what the Malawans gimmick is, what's the Hyperion's gimmick. Hyperion's more for uh, precision, and the Malawans just going to be more for just direct damage. Now, there isn't really much left to say in all of these screenshots, but there is um, one thing to note, and that is the class mod. While we don't get to um, really take a look at it, you can notice that it is a legendary class mod, and if you go back to my Athena skill tree revealed, we can see that that is going to be the class mod that buffs um, up to five different skills, and um, it's pretty much confirmed now that legendary class mods are going to be making a return in the pre-sequel. I mean, we pretty much guessed that it would be. It's no real surprise to anyone, but it is nice to confirm that these are going to be making a return. Now, it's we don't know if these are actually the legendary comms, or maybe it's going to be similar to a uh, Slayer of Terramorphous, where these actually come from a special boss, but um, I'm definitely looking forward uh, to messing around with these different comms, see what they end up boosting. It's going to be great to jump into um, the pre-sequel and give you guys as much news as possible and uh, yeah that will pretty much cover everything that we've learned from E3 uh, there's really not much more we can say until we get some more info and hopefully we'll get a little bit more gameplay uh, that we're able to use for you guys but unfortunately it's mostly just stills and looking at a bunch of uh, skill trees a bunch of new guns and Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for me. Nothing left to say. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and keep it here for more Borderlands, the pre-sequel news.